So sometimes when we're very close to the fire, we, we have a, I guess, a deeper insight into what's going on. And uh, I want to bring uh, someone um, that I respect. His name is Tim Canova. He's a, Flo a Florida uh, attorney, uh, congressional law professor in Florida in Debbie Wasserman Schultz's district. And he is, um, is a candidate currently for congressman there. He's challenging Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He did challenge Debbie Wasserman Schultz in 2016 and was deeply cheated. His ballots were thrown in the garbage. And he challenged that, uh, he challenged that notion of his ballots getting thrown in the garbage in federal court and he won. Uh, so Tim Canova um, writes something, you know, again, people close to the fire have a, a good insight. Yes, Tim Canova wants to beat Debbie Wasserman Schultz in the election and become the next congressman. But he makes a spectacular point on Imran Awan. Right? It's a big story. You can't let it go. You can't let it go. You can't let Imran Awan out the back door. You can't let him escape justice. You can't let it happen. Right? So Tim Canova writes, this is on his Facebook page. The House Inspector General concluded all the way back in August 2016 that Imran Awan, Debbie Wasserman Schultz's IT staffer, likely committed serious cybersecurity violations, including accessing classified House Intelligence Committee accounts all the way from Pakistan. But rather than suspend Awan, Schultz allowed him to remain in his position for another nine months with all of his access intact to the accounts of some of to accounts of some two dozen members of the House Intelligence Committee. Apparently Schultz believes it better to keep a known security threat in place with all his access codes rather than suffer exposure and political harm. Damn right. We also learn of a police report filed against Awan in Pakistan by one of his two wives alleging that Awan beat and kept her like a slave. Two weeks later, gunmen fired into our, our family home. <laughs> DOJ must not, the DOJ must not be allowed to sweep spy ring and extortion racket under the rug. Tim Canova, candidate for the United States Congress. House. I mean, that's pretty heavy, right? That's some heavy stuff he just said right there. First, he's a wife beater. And what about all the liberal Democrats? So I thought they're, they're, all, about, uh, they're all about women's rights and, 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 and the social issues. And you got a wife beater in, in Congress ripping the... Now, the House Intelligence Committee, right? How does... Quid pro quo. What is quid pro quo? Quid pro quo is selling ideas out the back door. Now, the Democratic, the Democratic Party, the DNC... Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was the head of the DNC, right? DNC has said in open court, "Oh no, we're not a, we're not a, we're not a, uh, we're a private organization. We're not a political, we're not a government agency. We're not right." But they are, they are. All the people, like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, is a sitting congressman in charge of the DNC, right? Right. So Imran Awan has access to all the passcodes, right? He has he has access to. Debbie Wasserman Schultz's passcodes, and some two dozen congressmen. Right? So if he has access to Debbie Wasserman Schultz's passcodes, he also has access to the DNC records. Right? See, the, 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 the case is so big because when you investigate it, when you look deeper, when you allow yourself to critically think, you realize that there lies the answer. Now, did Imran Awan leak the information of WikiLeaks? No, he, there's no motive for him to do that. But what what there is there is motive is is that somewhere in there is a leak or a leaker. Was it Seth Rich? Was it Eric Braverman inside the DNC? We don't know. But you could bet your ass that there is a there is a trail, electronic trail there, and that the FBI refused to look at it. When DNC was caught and then blamed, when when the DNC right claimed that the, that the servers were hacked, 
right? When WikiLeaks got all their emails and they claimed the hack, right? Instead of the FBI coming into the DNC and removing the server and doing a proper investigation, the DNC called a private firm called CrowdStrike. And that's where the, 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 the that's where Guccifer was born, right? This notion of Guccifer was born. It's a fake story, right? And, and the ties to Russia, why? Because Comey and McCabe had contacts with Russian oligarchs, and they realized that that when Trump actually won, that, this came later, but when Trump actually won the election, right, they, had a, they had to find a scapegoat. Right? They had to find that scapegoat right? because, because of their ties to Russia. That's why the Russia story happened, because... Because they were tied to it. They were t- McCobie, <laughs> Comey and McCabe. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little confused. I'm, I'm tying two stories into one. I'm trying to get the, the I'm trying to get the, the Imran Awan story out. Right? It's still a hot story and it's still talkable, right? But the Russia narrative came about because of Comey and McCabe's ties to Russian oligarchs, and then they tried to pin that all on Trump and and uh, it's silly season again, right? That, that story, Imran Awan, has, it's almost like as if it never happened. The, the Democrats and the, and, and the, 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 the political machine is so powerful in the gaslighting process that, that people don't even, they're still, they're still thinking like, oh, I'm gonna vote for this one, I'm gonna vote for that one, and it's gonna matter. It doesn't matter. That's where we're at right now. It doesn't matter. We have to keep talking about it. We got to keep waking people up, you know. So that, that was my ramble. I know it was a little bit of a ramble, but Tim, people like Tim Canova, right? Still fighting a good fight, you know. You got you got to keep talking about this stuff, right? right? Is there a br- tipping point, a breaking point? I hope so. I hope so. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from New York City. Peace out.